All right, we're going to try and keep this class short, sweet, and simple. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ventilation tools and equipment. Perform ventilation. Perform ventilations to gain access to fire or hot areas. How do we do this? Oh, oh by breaking windows. Good. Why do we do this? By creating openings where fire gases and smoke will exit the structure. Ventilation tools and equipment, tool and equipment uses, perform ventilations, create openings where gases and smoke will exit the structure, assist in moving gases and smoke more efficiently, help access ventilation locations, monitor ventilation, Identify ventilation locations. Ground and roof ladders help firefighters access locations to be used for ventilations. What is, what is a useful tool to have on the roof that can help you find a hot spot? Anybody know? The, the tick. It, it shows you hot things. It shows you where hot things are. Yes. Uh, or you could say it's useful for monitoring impact or ventilation and identifying possible ventilation locations. So it will show you exact spot of where you should penetrate the wall or the roof or something to that aspect. Tools for creating openings. I'm sure that you guys can see the, the slide and which tools are, what, what tool would you rather have to open the, the roof, to ventilate the roof? Uh, axe and um, a power saw, chainsaw, and pike pole. Axes, yes, power saws, chainsaws, pike poles. I'm not so much for the pike pole. I can see where you can hit the roof to, to pop that open, but I don't see how that could initially create an opening because you'd have to sit there and stab it a bunch of times, right? But it is a great tool for, uh, for opening ceilings or pulling ceilings, which is also helpful in the ventilation aspects. After they cut the roof, the guy on the inside can sit there and poke holes in the ceiling. That way the smoke can go up out through the roof like it needs to. Air movement equipment. What can we use to move the smoke out of the building and how can we get this to happen? So air movement devices such as hose lines and nozzles, Flexible ducts, stacking and hanging devices such as you know negative pressure fans or positive pressure fans, wind control devices, smoke control devices, air movement devices, blowers, fans, smoke ejectors, and that generate airflow. That's that's what's the air movement devices. Hose lines and nozzles used for hydraulic ventilations. To to you can use that fog nozzle and cover that whole window and blow that stuff back back in there. <clears throat> Flexible ducts used to control flow or of uh, fire gases and smoke during ventilation. Here's some pictures of uh, airflow or air movement equipment, such as a positive pressure fan or a PPV fan, a smoke ejector, which is a, more like a negative pressure fan that you'd hang. Now remember, when you hang those, you have to put a tarp around it in order to cover that window or that that area. That way, you're just taking out just the smoke. smoke ejectors or negative pressure fans. Uh, hose lines and nozzles like we had talked about previously. Now you can open that nozzle up and you can really control that window area. Uh, there, there's a picture of the generator and cords. I mean, I think that we all know how to turn on a generator. If not, you should be training on how to turn on the generator. Inspection and maintenance of ventilation equipment. Now this, see, this is what I mean about you can you should be working on or um, training on how to turn on that that generator. It falls under this as far as inspection. You're inspecting. You're making sure that it's working. And maintenance. You're still making sure that it's working. And it will really help you get your hands on those that that type of equipment. That way you know it's working properly. Uh, ventilation equipment should receive routine inspection and maintenance. Maintenance of powered equipment varies. Must be familiar with 
manufacturer's maintenance instructions and follow them. Inspections and maintenance schedules, common items to be inspected, level of maintenance uh, that firefighters provide, when non-firefighting personnel should perform these maintenance procedures for documentation and inspections of maintenance. So making sure that we've got all of our uh, our uh, I's dotted and T's crossed. All right, can you guys uh, list the uh, five tools or pieces of equipment used for ventilation? Uh, axe, the uh, tick, yeah. Uh, uh, axe, uh, that saw, and, uh, the PPV fan. Alright, like I said, it's going to be quick, uh, so we went over ventilations, the tools, and how we can use them. Now, are there any questions? All right, thank you guys. You guys have been awesome. Um, great input. Yeah, that's all I got.